Dear student, Assalamu alaikum. I hope all of you are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am Muhammad Shah Jahan, Assistant Professor, Department of Accounting, Milestone College, Uttara, Dhaka. Dear student, today we will discuss account receivable. This is our second lecture in this chapter. Dear student, you know that last class we have discussed the basic rules for recording the transaction of account receivable dear student at the end of this lecture you will be able to determine the amount of bad debt expenses and new provision for bad debt you can prepare journal entries you can give ledger entries of bad debt account and bad debt expense account dear student let's come to the math dear student we have given some information of Aftab and Sons, they have provision for bad debt. That means this is old provision we told or reserved for bad debt. It is 6,000 and in 2019, 31st December, the bad debt is 2,500. It is recorded bad debt and bad debt 2,000 is unrecorded. Dear student, you know that last class I have told you the formula we need for doing this math, which one is recorded bad debt, which one is unrecorded bad debt, which one is new provision, which one is old provision. Only this fourth thing is very important for these things. So in the question, we have to keep it in our mind, which one will be required for our math. And our Sunday debtors is amounted to 82,000. Provision for bad debt is 10%. This information is given for 2019 and 2020. The information is that bad debt is 5,000. It is recorded and Sunday debtor is amounted 50,000 and provision is 8%. Now we have to calculate amount of bad debt expenses and new provision for bad debt. Dear student, if you can remember the formula of bad debt expenses is bad debt plus new bad debt plus new provision minus old provision. Let's see the math. Bad debt, look at the formula is bad debt old. That means this is recorded one. Then new bad debt, this is unrecorded bad debt, then new provision, then minus old provision. So in the question, which one is bad debt? Look at our bad debt is 2500 and bad debt to be written up. That means new bad debt is 2000 and Sunday debtor is 82,000. So dear student, new provision will be, you know that for formula of new provision is net debtors net debtors into percentage of provision so what is the net debtors for doing net debtors we need at first debtors sunday debtors is 82000 and from this we have to subtract new bad debt we have to subtract new bad debt and new bad debt is 2000 so 82000 minus 2000 into 10 percent that means 8000 let's see the calculation look at for 2019 82000 is our debtor 2000 is our new bad debt and into percentage of provision it is 10 percent so 8000 is our new provision on the other hand in 2020 look at we don't have any new bad debt we have bad debt this is recorded so this item will not be affected in debtors net debtors so our net debtors is 50000 our net debtors is 50000 and from this net debtors we have to calculate 8 percent for new provision 8 percent 50000 into 8 percent it is 4000 it is 4000 look at it is 4000 so dear student now we have new provision it is 8000 for 19 and 2020 it is 4000 so dear student let's come to the mat for bad debt expenses again i am telling last class also you memorize the formula is that bad debt plus new bad debt that means recorded bad debt plus unrecorded bad debt then it is total bad debt then minus new provision add new provision less old provision new provision that we have calculated just now and old provision so dear student if you can remember the question our bad debt is 2500 recorded one unrecorded one is 2000 so total 4500 then new provision is 8000 it is 12500 minus old provision 6000 so dear student this year bad debt expense is 6500 on the other hand for 2020 our bad debt is 5000 bad debt is 5000 new bad debt there is no new bad debt in this year so new it is 5000 new provision we have calculated it is 4000 so total amount of bad debt 9000 and our provision is 8,000. So bad debt expenses is 1,000. Bad debt expenses is 1,000. Dear student, I hope all of you understand. Again, I told you that if you have any types of confusion, you can discuss with me. Now, uh, we have to uh, give journal entries. Dear student, if you can remember, plus I have given you the journal, three journal, three journal for this chapter. 
first one is provision for bad debt debit sunday debtor credit this journal is we have to give for recorded bad debt we have to give for record bad debt that means for recording bad debt we have what is the journal provision for bad debt account debit sunday debtor account credit and for bad debt expenses what is the journal bad debt expenses debit provision for bad debt credit for bad debt expenses bad debt expenses debit provision for bad debt account credit and last one is for income statement income statement debit bad debt expenses credit we have three fixed journal again i am telling you have to keep it in your mind first journal to record bad debt provision for bad debt debit sunday debtor credit provision for bad debt debit sunday debtor credit second bad debt expenses debit provision for bad debt credit bad debt expenses it Debited and provision for bad debt account will be credited. And lastly, income statement debit, bad debt expenses credit. This is our fixed journal. This is our fixed journal, dear student. Now, uh, what will be the amount? For first journal, amount is total amount of bad debt 2500 and 2000. That means 4500. It is our amount. And for bad debt expenses, first we have calculated bad debt expenses for 2019. It is 6500. So for the second journal, it is 6500. 6500. And lastly, income statement we have to transfer the amount of bad debt expenses. It is 6500. And for 2020, look at our provision for bad debt is 5000 provision for bad debt is how much it is 5000 for how you get it look at our bad debt 5000 new bad debt is zero that means total amount of bad debt is 5000 so for first journal same way in 2019 how we recorded in 2020 also same way the amount is 5000 bad debt plus new bad debt then bad debt expenses look at this year bad debt expenses is 1000 bad debt expenses is 1000 so we have to record here 1000 as a bad debt expenses debit provision for bad debt credit income statement debit bad debt expenses credit this is the fixed journal dear student laser also same this is very easy one dear uh, ledger in ledger at first you have to write from journal what is the opposite of bad debt expenses so what is the opposite of bad debt expenses look at uh, in 2019 opposite bad debt expenses is uh, provision for bad debt provision for bad debt and here bad debt expenses opposite account is income statement that means we have to write the name of opposite account in ledger you know that in ledger you have to write the name of opposite account first one is provision for bad debt and second one is income statement so these two are opposite account in 2020 also same provision for bad debt account and income statement is opposite it. now which side we will record look at bad debt expenses is which side uh, bad debt expenses is here debit and then bad debt expenses is here credit so at once we have to write in the bad debt expenses in the debit and another we have to write in the credit bad debt expenses debit bad debt expenses debit then bad debt expenses credit bad debt expenses is credit bad debt expenses is 6500 i think uh, bad debt expenses here 6500 it is not 4500 it will be uh, 6500 6,000, 6,500 bad debt expenses will be 6,500. Then the balance will be zero. The balance will be zero. And next year, last year, bad debt expenses 1,000. Look at bad debt expenses 1,000. Bad debt expenses is 1,000. So 1,000 at first in the credit side, then debit side, then debit and credit. The balance is zero. Bad debt, debit and credit balance is zero. So, dear student, for provision for bad debt, at first we have to write the balance BD. Dear student, I, I'll keep it in your mind. Uh, provision for bad debt, we have balance, opening balance 2019. Look at, at open 1st January 2019. The question In the question, the firstly, it is written the January 1, 2019. That means this is the balance of provision for bad debt account. So, balance of provision for bad debt account is how much? Balance of provision for bad debt account is 6,500. 6,500. Then income statement, so opposite account is income statement. Statement, it is 6500 mm, 6000 then 4500 is expense it is 1500 and 6500 so total amount of uh, provision this year 8000 then next year um, Sunday data is 5000 so 8000 minus 5000 why minus because it is in the credit it is in the debit so debit and credit minus 8000 minus 5000 it is 3000 and bad debt expenses is 1000 so 3000 minus uh, plus 1000 it is credit this is also credit so credit and credit plus it is 4000 dear student i hope all of you understand thank you very much may allah help all of us allah face